So one of the things that I absolutely adore is necromancers. Like I read pretty much any book that I can come across that has necromancers in it. And Tor announced this book called Gideon the Ninth. It was lesbian necromancers exploring a haunted gothic mansion in space. Skeletons! And I thought, well, this is it. This is my book soulmate. Alexandra just couldn't let it go how much we needed to get our hands on this book. So I remember like racing to get the tickets in the morning. We got tickets. It was amazing. The line was so long. She ended up talking to like everybody and spending a long time talking to everybody. And so reading this book, we had a lot of hype for it. And that can go one of two ways usually. Usually it's exactly what you thought it would be or it's nothing like you thought it would be and it's not great. Well, this time it was great. And we stood in an hour and a half line to get this book. And I got this book in my hands and I started reading it and I didn't read anything else until I stopped. Just the whole book, like you're reading it, you're enjoying it, it's weird, it's different, it's something that you never expected to find as a mashup. And by the end of the book, you're just sobbing, <laughs> absolutely sobbing uncontrollably because not only was it funny, but it manages to punch you in the gut by the end of the book. It just like blew your mind. So we ended up forming like a support group <laughs> for this book. It was on Facebook and we were all just like, we would bring, like all talk about it and then we would find somebody else who hadn't read it and we would bring them into the chat and just all sit there eating popcorn watching, watching as they freaked out. And it would be really funny because before the new person would join the chat, it's like, okay team, flood this chat with skulls and skeleton gifts because no spoilers. Man, we watched a few people go through <laughs> like a lot of shouty texts. <laughs> this was definitely probably one of my favorite books that I read this year and probably ever. Like, yeah, it was quite entertaining. Damn. So yeah, if you haven't read Gideon the Ninth, please, please read it. It's so good. Like, it's unlike anything else you've ever read. Just go, please. Yeah, it's definitely one of the crowning jewels of the last decade and it was like a late entry. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, yes.